Hello, it's Kelly, and it is October 14th. Um, this is my second vlog, and I have a few things that I'd like to talk about today. First of all, it's artist versus poet. This band is amazing. They are like a pop punk alternative band, and um, they're really, really good. I enjoy them very much. They have about 12 songs on this album. It is Artist vs. Poet Favorite Fix. So that's what it looks like. You can probably get it on iTunes or at Best Buy or online somewhere. Probably they, they might have it on their MySpace some way to get it. But I suggest getting them because they are really good. Um, I'm actually playing a song of theirs right now. And um, I had gotten the CD in like July at Warp Tour. I met them. I gave them all hugs. I like went down the line and I like hugged them all after I got their CD. But yeah, um, they're really cool guys. Um, second of all is this book that I had just finished reading. It's called Washed by Blood by Brian Head Welch. He's the former lead guitarist of Korn. And it's a story about like he wrote it, he's the author. So it's about like his life from like when he was little and like through school and like he like picked up the guitar and he started playing and he like formed bands and then he started getting into dr drugs. And then like he started getting into meth and he was really addicted to that and then he like formed corn. And then like it just talks like that's the first part of the book and then the second half is about how he had found God one day well not really one day but and he just like how it saved him and stuff it's a really good book I suggest reading it if you're a corn fan or if you're just like someone who loves God or if you are struggling with drugs yourself you could read that book too it's it really touched me, kind of, because I kind of know what he was going through. Not to the extreme, but kind of the same. Um, third on my list is, I don't know if you guys heard about this, I didn't know about it t until last night, but about two months ago there was this mine collapse that caved in um, down in the country Chile. If you don't know where Chile is, it's down in South America. It's that really long, skinny country that's on the west coast. Um, and 33 miners were trapped down there for two months. So last yesterday, they took they drilled a big hole down, and like a little capsule, like went down, and they like took everyone up. It took like a half an hour to get everybody out. So thumbs up to that good thing those people are all alive. Yeah, all of them survived, too. I think that's so cool. Um, so yeah, that's just some things I wanted to talk to you guys about. Oh, and this is my awesome hat. My friend Alyssa drew this for me. It used to be just white and I would wear it all the time. I'm like, I want to color this hat. And she's like, oh, I'll draw some stuff on it. And those are the back. Peace, love, and happiness. So, yeah, I love this hat. I wear it, like, every day. So, um, I'm gonna get going now, so, subscribe, please.